Wah. Kitty. Wah. Kitty cat. Wah. Ah. Oh, stuck up in that tree again. Wah. Get down. Get down. Wah. No tree, kitty. Wah. No tree. Ah, you say your friend is stuck up there? Oh, he can come down too. Wah. I'll show you around, Vindicator. You seem like a nice guy. Ah! On the table, LEGO Minecraft 2020, set number 21160, the Illager Raid, 562 pieces, and what the Ninjago? Minifigures included Cat Pig Villagers, Kai, an Illager, and another Illager with a banner. On the back of the cat, a nice little Illager Raid going on. What's the name of the Illager Bowl, by the way? Don't worry, Kai's here to save the day. Inside the box, how about some instructions? Bag one me some pieces. Bag two of pieces. There's three and four. Plus, <laughs> it didn't even land. Plus a base, it still didn't land. Plus a, <laughs> it still didn't land. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? There's a base plate, honest, I swear. Well, this village can't stay unraided forever. Let's raid the village with the Illager Raid. never live in a house with lime green floors. And look at that baby blue bed. It clashes horribly. I kind of like it. Ugh, Alex is right. Lime green floors. Ugh.
and constructed, we have the Illager Raid. Wow, it feels good to be building Lego again. It's been a little time. Kinda waiting for those January sets to finally arrive in my area. So much awesome going on with this set. I had missed the large scale village set a few years ago, so finally I get to work on a set with some villagers. Ha! <laughs> and there's some things going on here for sure. We've got a Illager attack. Ha! <laughs> And there's a cat stuck up on the roof, and the mysterious Kai is involved with this set. Love the Ninjago Kai figure crossover going. Amazing how much detail they were able to place in this 562 piece set. But unlike previous year's sets where you were encouraged to rebuild in different forms, this is the main form of build of the construction set. We have a desert themed village with a nice little one room house on the side over here. We have a garden in the center with all sorts of things, probably some wheat and some beets and carrots and even some carrots already grown. Over on this side we have a, oh what is that called, an Acadia and Acedia tree with a bell tower and some very nice fine blocks of, oh, what's that called? <clears throat> oh yeah, can't forget the pig there and there's some hay for that pig in the back. And of course, raiding the village, we have Illagers. We have the almighty Vindicator. Here's a baby. Uh oh, down goes Kai. We have a pillager with the banner. Now I've actually killed a few of those before and stolen their banner, ha <laughs> But I've never really encountered the Ravenger back there in gameplay, I don't think. Let's get in a little closer on that. This guy back here might be the second main highlight of this set besides just a awesome little village scene. The Ravager, kind of a bull-like, illager-like guy. Not sure what kind of water he drank, but a great little action feature on this one. Pull back the lever on its back, and we have an attack feature, an opening of mouth and ramming head. Functions really smoothly, as always you would expect from LEGO. The legs don't move, they are permanently attached down the side, but it is a fun build to this set. Then we can move on over to the house here. A huh. uh, villager with a banner, you're kind of in the way. Uh, you're still in the way. No, you're in the way. You just gotta get out of the frame, okay? You're just, you just gotta get out of the frame. Hi, kitty. Just go! Sorry about that guy. Yeah, still trying to figure out how to get the cat off the roof. Maybe the best way is to get the roof off the cat. There we go. Now we can kind of see inside the world of the little house. So inside this house, we can actually detach the main garden center and then look inside our house. There we go. We've got a crafting table, a furnace, a bookshelf. Oh, we could always use more bookshelves. Another bookshelf to look at. Look, and when you turn around from this angle, you can see the bookshelf through the opening. So there's the bookshelf, and I just want to point out one more time that there is a bookshelf right there. However, there's supposed to be the bed. Where's the bed? Oh, come on. No, you're okay there. We're looking for the bed. Oh, I tell you what, bed, you better get out here. Huh? Someone calling me? Yes, bed. Where have you been? We have a review going on, don't you know? Oh. Well, get inside the house. Ugh, lime green flooring. I don't care, you're a part of the set, now get in there. Oh jeez. Okay, the bed is finally inside. Really interesting how they've evolved some of the structures with the LEGO Minecraft builds. We had just revisited the original first night house about a month ago. A very well and entertaining structure, especially how they offset the main walls and feels a little more intricate. Of course, this was a first night structure, so you know, you can only build so much your first night. So, where are we at? How do we build this village back to where it was? These are nice little double wide tile pieces to connect everything together. Replace the roof back on. I like this door. Oh, cat's back up on the roof again. Move this uh, giant ravager guy back here again. I like him in the back. Oop, dropped a carrot. And our illager guy. And where'd Kai go? Oh, there he is. Got a little bit of a Vindicator revenge going on. So really great overall set. If you're thinking that the Illager raiding party is a little bit small, don't worry about that too much as there is another set. The Pillager Outpost is also out there, set number 21159, and that will kind of complete your Illager raiding party. Plus you get another Iron Golem out there. That will be a fun one. I hope to get to this set in the next week or so. There is a lot of Minecraft to get to this month. 
<laughs> One more close up look at the great minifigures that come with this set. We have two desert themed villagers. <laughs> I think the one with the purple overalls is that blacksmith or farmer. Then back to Kai over there. What an awesome Lego set crossover idea. Ninjago Kai in Minecraft form. I hope this gets expanded on throughout the year. Then the Vindicator again. Great looking Illager. And the Illager again with the banner and crossbow piece. Very nice. Oh, and the cat too. Whoa, I pull away just for one second, guys. Stop. This was a great fun fantastic start for the Minecraft 2020 sets. I was super excited to build a modern themed village. Desert is not my favorite place, but it still looks really good. A couple more things to mention before we're done. A nicely crafted armor stand with diamond armor on top. Window planters, always liven things up. Did I mention the bell tower? Oh, and hey look, bookshelves. A very nice Lego Minecraft build. Oh, it looks like the tides of battle have changed and the Illager raid is over. Villager, did you use carrots as your primary weapon? Huh. Anyhow, that's what I have to say about that. Plus, of 